eyes on my player tonight. I'll definitely be tracking him, Blake. I'm excited to see where his game is. Each contest possession with the salary cap and the Supermax being introduced, the amount of money bets cost to have on your team. Oh, oh, get out of his way! Brown covering. Wing shot on the way. And there's another one for the Hornet. Here's Smart. It's deflected. Using his post moves to get the two points. Guarded by Williams. And it's are totally out of whack. He's lost all feel for his shot. And you can tell that just by looking at his numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. Tatum makes a lot of tough shots with defenders on him. Oh, and that one, no question. He for the three. Defense totally off balance. He's covered by Horford. You're now tuned in to Old Head TV. Put some pressure on that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn those notifications on. Hey, yo, what's good, YouTube world? It's Old Head TV, and I'm back in the building. Back in the builder, and I'm back with another banger for my 2K family. Bringing you some good early Monday morning vibes. And I'm hoping this catch y'all in good spirits because I have another crazy build. And from the thumbnail, you already know this is a Kobe Bryant build. And before we get started i just want to say rest in peace to the legend kobe bean bryant i still can't believe he's gone but his memory will continue to live on and that's a big fact i haven't gotten around to making a kobe bryant build this year like i did in 2k22 and when y'all done checking this video out check out my kobe bryant video i did for 2k22 it will be down in the description below i'll probably end up making one before the nba 2k cycle is over and i'm actually thinking about going to current Gen so I could get in on that 1v1 Galleon and go crazy. And I think I might just do that with a Kobe Bryant build, so stay tuned for that. But um, let's get into the build. Alright, so we're gonna jump in the time machine, take it back to 2000, 2001, back to Kobe Bryant with the afro when he was Froby Bryant. So for the position, of course, we're gonna put that as shooting guard, shooting hand, right, left, doesn't matter. Jersey number does matter because this is a young Kobe Bryant build. Froby Bryant, so we're gonna go with number eight. Now let's get into the body settings. Now for the height, I already know Kobe is six foot six, but we're gonna go with six foot seven. The weight, we're gonna take that to 212 pounds. Wingspan is gonna be seven feet because that's his actual wingspan. And the body shape we're gonna go with is compact. Now let's get on to the attributes. All right, for the close shot, we're gonna take that to a 70. Driving layup, we're gonna take that to a 80. And for your driving dunk, we're gonna take that to a 86 so we can unlock silver slithery and posterizer because we know how young kobe was in the paint he was a pure slasher and also we get limitless takeoff on gold and with that 86 driving dunk we get some of the best dunk packages and we also get pro contact dunks so you will be catching bodies standing dunk is going to stay at a 36 and for your post control young kobe bryant did have a post game so we're gonna take that post control to a 72 and that 72 post control allows us to unlock silver back down punisher drop stepper and dream shape also we get gold post spin technician and that right there should have us at 17 finishing badge points now let's get into the shooting now we already know kobe was a shooter and could hit it from anywhere on the floor he was a hell of a scorer and no one can take that from him so for your mid-range shot we're gonna take that to a 84 and for your three-point shot we're gonna take that to a 79 and that right there should have us at 21 shooting badge points and within those 21 shooting badge points we unlock hall of fame midi magician gold amp gold guard up and we also have gold blinders which will stack perfectly with hall of fame space creator and hall of fame volume shooter which is a very underrated badge this year and if you plan on taking this build into the wreck you're gonna want to put your free throw to a 73 now let's get into the playmaking all right for your pass accuracy you're gonna want to put that to a 70 
And I didn't bother to put the pass accuracy to a 75 or even higher because, yo, this is a Kobe Bryant build. You are a shot creator. You're not worried about playmaking. You're worried about acquiring buckets at any cost. So we're going to keep that pass accuracy to a 70. Ball handle is going to go to an 86. And your speed with ball is going to be an 80. And that right there should have us at 18 playmaking badge points. Now let's get into the defense. All right, for your interior defense, we're going to take that to a 60. Your perimeter defense, we're going to take that to a 92 so we do get gold clamps and gold challenger also we have hall of fame menace ankle braces off ball pest and workhorse so you will be a lockdown in the perimeter because being a lockdown is not about having a 99 still and spamming x every chance you get it's more so about getting stops body ups and cutoffs while frustrating your opponent now for your still we're gonna take that to a 78 so we can unlock silver interceptor and bronze glove your block is gonna be a 75 and we do get bronze anchor offense rebound we're gonna put nothing on that your defensive rebound we're gonna take that to a 66 and that right there should have us at 18 defensive badge points now for the physicals your speed we're gonna take that to an 82 your acceleration is gonna be an 80 your strength is gonna be a 60 vertical is gonna be a 75 so we can get those pro contact dunks and your stamina is gonna be a 92 now let's get into these takeovers now as you can see we got slash take we got got shot creator take we got sharp take and we got lock take i'm gonna go with easy blow buys and ankle breaking shots now we're gonna hit the finish button so we can see that final product And there you have it, Shades of Kobe Bryant, DeJounte Murray, and Anthony Edwards. And you have built a two-way mid-range shooter. Now we're gonna test the build, get it to 99, so I can show you this badge setup and get y'all out of here. All right, for the finishing, we got 17 badge points. So we're gonna do Silver Acrobat, Silver Back Down Punisher, Gold Giant Slayer, Tier two, we could do fearless finish on silver. Tier three, we could do posterize on silver. And we can make limitless takeoff on gold, the core badge. And when we core that limitless takeoff, we will get seven badge points back. Out of that seven, we're gonna take six. And you're gonna put that on slithery, which is gonna be on silver. And you're gonna be left over with one badge point. And you could put that on hall of fame giant slayer. Or you could maybe put that on Bronze Postman Technician. For your shooting, we got 21 badge points to work with. So we're going to do Gold Amp, Gold Guard Up, Hall of Fame Midi Magician, Gold Corner Specialist, Hall of Fame Space Creator, and we're going to make Gold Blinders the core badge. And when you core blinders, you're going to get seven badge points back. And with those seven badge points, you're going to get back. I would definitely put Volume Shoot on Hall of Fame and those other three badge points, I will put Claymore on Gold. To me, honestly, I feel like Gold Claymore works way better than Catch and Shoot and it works more consistently, but that's just my opinion. Now for the playmaking, we got 18 badge points, so we're gonna do Gold Ankle Breaker, Gold Hyper Drive, uh, we could do gold quick first step. We could put killer combos on bronze for now. And we can make unpluckable the core badge. And when you core that, you're going to get seven badge points back. And out of that seven, I will put six of those on silver handles for days. And that one badge point that's left over, put that on killer combos. So now you have killer combos on silver along with handles for days and you got gold unpluckable. And if you could spare some badge points, like six maybe, I would definitely put it into my playmaking so I could put clamp break on silver. Now let's get into the defense. Now for the defense, we got 18 defensive badge points. So tier one, we're gonna do gold ankle braces, gold menace, bronze anchor. We're gonna make challenger the core badge and we're gonna get seven back and we're gonna put that on gold clamps. And if you have some extra badge points left over, maybe two, you could dump them into your defense so that way you could put on Hall of Fame ankle braces, 
and Hall of Fame minutes is definitely worth it. Or you could take those two extra badge points and put it on silver off-ball pests. That's definitely another badge that's worth it. But that's it for me, Old Head TV. Be sure to put some pressure on that like, that subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know what you think of the build. Or you could tell me what builds you might want to see on the channel in the future, and I'll be sure to get to it. Until next time, peace. Try smart. Fades away. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. There wasn't a ton of congestion in the lane. He could have done better for sure. Number eight. That's just can't count on him this time. He's got to go right back to that shot. Fader on the way. And he comes up with the deuce. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. And that one's good. No question who's been in control of this game. Yeah, absolutely. Dave uh, really taking charge. Covered by Smart. Soft touch off the glass. Oh! Oh, my. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. That was just unreal. Hey, when you get up that high.